you're gonna get fed up with me uploading all these videos, I can tell it. <laughs> anyway, I'm back again. Uh, after this one, I have one more video. These are the last ones. Uh, these two decks are in the making. <clears throat> I will update them as soon as they're complete. So, let's begin. Dinosaurs. I have not seen a good dinosaur deck in years. I used to have one a long time ago and it worked out pretty nicely, but with new dinosaurs, I'll make you a new style of dinosaur deck. So here we go. It is dinosaur normal deck, but it also uses some Jurex. Because I actually quite like them. I do like dinosaurs. So we start with the extra deck. Only three cards at the moment. Uh, Jurex. Giganoto, or whatever you want to pronounce it to, it's basically Flamosaurus Rex. He's not too bad, I like him. Boosting up attack points. So, generally, these are, are sort of going to be for a, a beatdown style, I expect. Uh, Velfito, I need to get another one of those, because they're, they're not too bad either. And um, Grinosaurus. Uh, he's actually not too bad. He's, he is a typical dinosaur style effect. I'll see uh, remove an underlay to inflict a thousand points of damage. So he's not destroyed when the, the underlays are gone, but he can do up to two thousand points of damage without even attacking. So he is one to watch out for and to use in a dinosaur deck. Right, start with the monsters. I've got a lot of these. I've, I've got most of the monsters anyway. So we have Jurak Titano. It's the first Jurak monster I've got. Uh, it's a nice one, he's powerful, so he's good. Use him. Uh, two Brachis, use them obviously because they're tuners, to go into your monsters. Uh, Jurak Dalrico, or something, something, something like Lizard, who's someone who's been sprayed with petrol, or whatever. He's not too bad. Uh, Jurak Iguanan, is that? I can't really pronounce some of these, so one of him at the moment. What have we got? Ah, yes. Two Jurak Spinos. He has some pretty decent effect. Uh, what does he do? Uh, when he destroys the opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, special summon one Spinos token. Attack 300, zero defense in attack position on your opponent's side of the field. So you've given them tokens instead of monsters. Uh, Superconductor Tyranno. I like this card. It's a good one to use. Uh, Ultimate Tyranno. There is a reason why I'm having these big, powerful dinosaurs on the field, which will become clear later on. Oops. Stupid straps. Uh, yeah, Black Tyranno. We all know him. Everyone loves Black Tyranno. This card is going to be coming out at some point, but at the moment it's in here. It's Sauropod Brachian. He's a good card to have. Well, I don't know. No, not really. It it's in there at the moment, but it's coming out. Uh, Dark Triceratops, obviously, good card. Piercing effect, always helpful. Um, Hyper Hammerhead, it's a good thing to use. Uh, Mad Sword Beast. Doesn't really look like a dinosaur, but whatever. Black Terror, sounds a bit weird. Two Gilosaurus, and as a, as a backup strategy, Tyranno Infinity. So, yeah. Right, go on to spells. I haven't got all the spells. Mostly I do need to work on the spells and traps that I need to get. So, and the reason for the most powerful monsters is Big Evolution Pill. If you've got a handful of strong monsters, this works at the same time as Swords of Healing Knight, three turns. You get to special, you can just summon any dinosaur monster, not a problem, no sacrifices, no nothing. So that's when all the big monsters come into play. So I get another one of them. Gives you six turns of summoning powerful monsters, which is always good. Yeah, Demise of the Land. That's quick play. That's fate when your opponent. Oh, I see. So when when your opponent special summons, you can pick any field spell from your deck and play it immediately. Speaking of which, Jurak World, which everybody loves. Kind of. Uh, Fossil Dig. Obviously, bring back a dinosaur monster from from your deck to your hand, so if you need something then you can get it. Cost Down is a good card to use in these sort of decks because a lot of dinosaurs are high levels and they are obviously tribute summoning takes a while, so with Cost Down it makes things just a, a little bit easier. 
Solidarity. This is generally going to be used for the Jirax, since there's quite a few of them in this deck. Obviously, um, each Jirac, uh, if you have only one original type of monster, Jirac, in your graveyard, face up monsters you control with the same type gain 800. So, if you have, say, Velfito in the graveyard, all your other Jiracs will get a boost of 800. And, for Tyranno Infinity, Dimensional Fissure. So, remove them all for play, and all of a sudden think, oh, you yeah, have defeated you, no, Tyranno Infinity. Ah, Power Rape, basically. Uh, as for traps, I've got most of the traps actually, if not all of them. Uh, two skull layers, that's going back quite a few days, so that's not too bad. Uh, survival instinct, dinosaur star. Fossil excavation, that does what now? So is that one dinosaur in your grievous, but is it effect the specials on the Oh, okay, yeah. It, it's basically like Call of the Haunter, but it takes away the monster's effect on a dinosaur type, obviously. Uh, volcanic eruption, that is practically a field wipe when you have Jirac World on there. What's this target? For each incoming too much is done into the. Oh, okay. Synchro Strike. Yeah, just in case, because with some of them they may not be powerful enough, so use that to give them a bit of a boost for the turn. Hunting Instinct, I think that's when. Yeah, when a monster special summons on your opponent's side, you can special summon one dinosaur. Which is good. From where? From your hand, so that could be any dinosaur you want, to be honest. And seismic shockwave. So there's a little bit. Of, okay, it's falling apart. I don't know. Um, yeah, got some work to do, got some cards to get for it, but that's not. I'm actually looking forward to completing this deck because I, I've always loved dinosaurs. I always liked the dinosaur deck style, so I prefer a good beatdown deck anyway. So it's you know, my favourite sort of things. So anyway, that is about halfway complete, so any kind of um, thoughts as to how it is so far, any kind of opinions would be great, any advice also would be well appreciated, and uh, hopefully you might have picked up a couple of nice tips from these cards as well. Also if you want to know effects for any specific cards, give me a message on YouTube and I will gladly reply to you with the, uh, with the effect. And if it's one of those confusing ones, I will also simplify it as well, just in case, because, well, some people I know just don't quite get it when you read it to them. I, I don't know, I'm just rambling now, I should stop. Which I'm going to, I'm going to stop rambling. Right, one last video to go.